come now to the Lifetime Achievement Award, and this year's winner is truly out of this world, Professor Stephen Hawking. To tell us more is a man who won an Oscar for his portrayal of him in The Theory of Everything, Eddie Redmayne. Why are we here? How did life begin? Can we travel through time? Uh, these are some of the biggest questions facing humanity, challenging our greatest thinkers for thousands of years. But one man has perhaps done more than any other to answer them. Professor Stephen Hawking has inspired millions all over the world with his extraordinary refusal to let his condition dictate the terms by which he lives his life. My goal is simple. It is a complete understanding of the universe, why it is as it is, and why it exists at all. Shortly after his 21st birthday, Stephen was diagnosed with motor neuron disease and given two years to live. A consultant said to him, there's nothing I can do for you, so don't bother to come back and see me again. As his body began to fail him, eventually losing his ability to speak, his astonishing mind grappled with the laws that govern the universe. He was one of the first people to take on the conundrum that is black holes. And he's been investigating black holes for many years, trying to understand how they work. The prospect of an early death urged Stephen onward. He explored complex theories beyond most people's comprehension. One of the big contributions Stephen has made in the, in the field of cosmology is to the question of why we're here. In the, in the sense that you ask, why is it that galaxies formed? What, what processes way back, close to the beginning of time, if indeed there is a beginning of time? Stephen's book, A Brief History of Time, has sold over 10 million copies and been translated into 40 languages. He was told that a book on physics would never sell, that nobody would be interested, nobody wanted to know. And I think he's quite conclusively proved that that is not the case. Space, here I come. Stephen Hawking is definitely one of the greatest geniuses of all time. The main qualities that have helped uh, our dad achieve what he has is a relentless positivity and sheer bloody-mindedness, I think. Stephen, one of my most treasured moments from space was having the opportunity to call you, knowing that you would have a very special appreciation of the view outside the window. Many congratulations on this award. And here to present the award, please welcome our Prime Minister, Theresa May. Tonight, everyone in this room and everyone watching at home is celebrating the very best of Britain. And it's my great pleasure and honour tonight to lead the tributes to a man who has quite simply changed the way we think about the world around us, while at the same time battling devastating illness for more than 50 years. His impact was shown so clearly in that film, The Theory of Everything, but there is nothing theoretical about his brilliance. It's my great pleasure to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Professor Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Prime Minister, for those very kind words. I deal with tough mathematical questions every day, but please don't ask me to help with Brexit. <laughs> there are many children here this evening, and I am optimistic about what the future will look like when they are older. They have many things to look forward to, such as space travel, the development of robots, driverless cars, and computers that will win every board game they play. <laughs> but they also face many challenges such as climate change and the effect this will have on the world. I am sure the next generation will rise to these challenges. So 
so let us proudly celebrate achievement, however large or small, and friendship and respect. Good luck to you all. Thank you.